We're going with Alaska Ultimate Safaris and the helicopter's about to take off. Deep into brown bear country is definitely one of the most rewarding and memorable trips of a lifetime. June through late September, you can see these beautiful creatures and we're here right now at Lake Clark National Preserve. Okay, it's official. We're in bear country and I'm so <laughs> excited to get started. <laughs> Kirsten, tell us where we are exactly. We're in Lake Clark National Park. We just landed in Chinitna Bay and we found some bears out in the river fishing. Yes. So we stopped here. We did, and we're following the bear tracks. We're going to walk very slowly, right? Mm -hmm. Very slowly, very calmly, and as tight as possible of a group. No sudden moves. Mm -hmm. okay. We're gonna be less intimidating as a group that way, and so we're all gonna stay nice and tight. Great. And go around Yay. the corner. Let's go. <laughs> so what you're seeing here, this is where the bear trails start, where the bears have pushed over all of this grass, Yes. And so it leads up into that bear trail where we saw that little bear running down the trail. And this right here is really cool. Oh. Just smell where we broke it off here. Right up here. It's a wild celery. And oh, it smells, smells so isn't that good. Amazing? Yes. You can take the leaves and muddle them up and make an Alaskan mojito out of them. Mmm, I'm gonna take this back to the lodge. It'll be great with my Alaskan mojito glacier ice. <laughs> <laughs> True authentic experiences. <laughs> so we have the grizzly bear. Oh. The coastal brown bear, which we have in front of us, and the Kodiak bear, they're all the same bear. They vary in region and diet. So there's typically one female, and she'll have two males following her. And she doesn't necessarily like the most dominant bear. She'll sometimes find a big, the big dominant bear that's following her, and she'll take him over and get him to start fighting with another bear, and then she'll run off with the little guy. Now this is pretty cool. The bears will go by and see all this. This is bear fur. They'll go by and scratch it on this tree. Oh my gosh. That's all fur. <laughs> Look at this. Bear fur. <laughs> <laughs> I might keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> They're in a feeding frenzy right now. When do they start hibernating? They'll start hibernating depending on if they're male or female, the females will go into hibernation first. The males will stay awake longer, and it will be about November in this area. So how many hours a day do they feed for? They're eating 20 hours a day right now and sleeping for four. Only four hours sleep? No wonder why you're grumpy. <laughs> grumpy as a bear. <laughs> That's where it comes from. This is incredible. Get that one too. This looks like National Geo. Well, this experience has been just outstanding. You've been amazing, and this is honestly like heaven on earth. <laughs> I agree. It's 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 unreal, really. It's it's a picture postcard. Look at that guy right there. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's just prancing around in the water. Go ahead, prance, little guy. Not so little. <laughs> no, he's not little. You guys don't know how lucky you are. Days like this happen probably four times a year. Really? Yeah. Well, we've seen at least 30 bears up close. 30 close bears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's mm -hmm. been heaven on earth. <laughs> it's been it's a great awesome. day. Thank you. Yeah. Now this is truly a trip of a lifetime. This is the call of the wild answering right before our very eyes. And it's a bucket list must. I'm Linda Cooper, and we'll see you next travel time. <laughs>